Hello everyone! Welcome back to a vlog! It has been a while since I have done a vlog, and so I thought I would just start small. Let's get you up here. I thought that I would just start small, and I actually just did, um, well, I actually just went to the chiropractor, so if my mascara is like a little bit schmooshed, that's why. And I got a chance to go to HomeSense. I know if you're probably watching this and you are not in a zone where your lockdown has alleviated enough that you can go to HomeSense, maybe this will bring you some joy, just like seeing a little haul, um, because uh, that is like the number one thing that I missed when I was also in lockdown. It wasn't shopping for clothes, it was honestly just looking for things for our home. So that is what I did, and to say that we are starting this vlog a little bit more chill versus like a weekly vlog or something like that, I thought that I could just show you guys kind of the transformation of a room. Now that spring is on the horizon, yesterday we had a day where it was 9.5 degrees Celsius and I was living, like opening up the windows. When I was driving, I literally had the windows kind of cracked as well. It was the best feeling ever. So I felt as though I want to kind of do some cleaning around the house, change some things up, and our little bathroom, we have two bathrooms in our place. One of them is an ensuite off of our bedroom. That one is a complete disaster. We want to completely redo that one. But the one that everyone uses has been in a pretty good spot. I've gotten a chance to do a couple of things in there. We want to reno the floor, so mind you, the floor will be just like not it during this whole vlog, but I'll show you that in a future one. I talked to my dad, we're gonna do that ourselves just like we did the kitchen floor. But without further ado, I got a couple of things for a bathroom and I wanted to show you. So, this is my little home sense hall. I had the smallest, the smallest garbage can in our little bathroom and it was to the point where it was like, okay, like this thing can hold five Kleenexes, what even is the point of this? And the reason why I had such a small garbage can was because in my loft it was such a small room and just like to actually have anything beside the toilet I needed to get the smallest garbage can and it just found its way here as well. One of my last practical purchases for the washroom was my tiny garbage can for tiny garbage. You have tiny garbage in the in the washroom. When would you ever have big garbage in the washroom? Now I have passed that on to a better home. I have actually gotten a decent sized one. This one was $16.99. Soft closing. You look for all of the good things with your garbage can. Ooh, <laughs> it actually is. I didn't even test that in store. So this is by the Aurora, Bl Aurora Bland. Aura brand. <laughs> and it's kind of like an off white, but leaning more towards a gray or a light blue, which I like. And what I did, was in the same brand, I also got the toilet paper brush because Scotty had one in there and it's just like, it's just gross, it's just old. And I find that sometimes things in our home and things in our wardrobe will just, we'll buy beautiful clothes but we'll have like old ratty underwear. No, <laughs> get yourself some good underwear. Get yourself a good toilet paper brush, miss. You deserve that. So I love that those are matching because on each side of the toilet, it'll just look really, Really cute, really well thought of. This is another thing. Also, that was $16.99 as well. I got this other thing. Now, this is actually for our bathroom. That's an ensuite, just a little toothbrush dish. I have never, like I did not grow up in a household where we had our toothbrushes out on the countertop. I actually still don't know how I feel about it. I guess if it's a, I guess if it's a bathroom that you know no one else will go in, I think that's okay. But currently we have such an annoying cabinet in our bathroom in there. It's like a cavity. There's nothing going on under it. It's just a big cavity. So we're really trying to figure out, you know, how to do some organization in there. I think that's gonna be a future video, how to turn the most annoying bathroom cabinet into something that's functional. But we just have a cup on uh, the top there. And I think that this is cute because it can actually separate it. So Scotty's can go on one side, mine can go on the other. And we really love those neutral tones. This one was only $9.99. And I honestly think such a small change like this will actually really change kind of the functionality and the look in there. So those are those things. I'm actually really excited about this. This is one thing I went in there to look for. This is like a little shelf unit that I'm going to hang above the toilet in our one bathroom. 
It was $49.99. I think this was my most expensive purchase of the day, but it's beautiful. We really love the gold tones, so you'll notice that I really want to do a house tour when we kind of get things together, but frames, wooden texture, we have just a lot of gold details and that natural wood look too. So I'm pumped about that. This, I have to see if it works and I also have to see if Scotty likes it. Sometimes I just have to buy things and be like, do you like this? Can we get this? Or not, can we get this? But it's a compromise. You know, you, when you live with someone, you got to see what you like. So there wasn't a lot of artwork, but I thought this was so beautiful for spring. And it was $34.99. I love the brush strokes. I love pastel yellow. I feel like that's one of my favorite colors in the whole world. And this year specifically, you're going to see it so much in fashion just everywhere and especially right now because of um, just Easter and everything coming up. I think you're gonna see that a lot. So my plan for that is there's, we have this big round mirror from Ikea. That Ikea mirror is around $90 and it's so stunning. I think it's one of the best things at Ikea. I'll show you that as well. And I wanna put that on the back of the door so when I'm looking in the mirror, I can see that painting. But it might be too big, so we'll see. I also got this beautiful shower curtain. We have a shower curtain currently in our bathroom, but again, this is such a small change that you can just maybe have a couple of options, just switch them up. This is not a minimalist kind of thing, but you can just switch them up and change up the whole look. And I thought it would just really freshen things up. The floor we're gonna put in there is white with some great detailing. So having a white curtain with the white painting and the toilet brushes and we have details of gray that kind of play off that. It'll be nice. This was $29.99 and it's from a hotel collection, 100% cotton. And we also have already behind our existing curtain, the plastic one as well. So actually, do we? Oh shoot, I'm gonna have to double check on that. But do you know what? We don't even have showers there. It's just baths at the moment. And last but not least, during lockdown, I did this project in our bedroom. I'll put up a little um, image of it and the link to the video where I did a board and batten wall with my dad. So I can hear that crinkling. And our, our bedroom totally changed. Like it feels like a hotel room in there. It feels like a total built-in and we are so obsessed. The color is called Sacramento Green and it's called Blue Pacific blue green or something from Benjamin Moore, I believe. I'll, I will also link that down below because I get the question of what color that wall is all the time. But we currently have, oh, I'll show you guys. I'll just show you. <laughs> Why not? I just made the bed, so it's fine. Okay. So it's a little darker in here right now. So this is the, oh, this is the wall. Beautiful. But these are our curtains and I got them during lockdown because I was doing this room, I was doing all the things and they were kind of the only ones I could find getting two sets that were matching and we just have never liked them. It's, it's kind of horrible. It's just one of those things that I could see us just leaving them up for our duration of being here and not liking them. So I ended up getting these white ones that we both like much more. And the rest of this room, there we go, you can see me better. And the rest of this room is white anyways. And I think I have already redone, like painted all of the frames and everything, but I think I'm gonna do another coat of like a really nice um, white. It, you won't notice that much in pictures, but in person you'll know that it just feels fresher. And we wanna redo the carpets in here as well. So I think just having those neutral tones and something that I love about these is that it's got the little boxes. So I think it'll match that wall, like kind of just the feel and the architecture of it. And then for bedding wise, we were thinking of doing like a burnt orange linen because that would contrast with the green so nicely. It would just be so cozy. And I think just having a little bit more warm tones in here would be nice. And then when it comes fall, it'll just be like, oh, that'll be the chef's kiss. So, and then as well, if you've never seen these, they're from Decenio. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> That was so embarrassing. <laughs> They're from Decenio and I did a little collab with them. So I had a gallery wall outside. I will also link up the gallery wall video, but these ones you guys may not have seen because there was just a, there were just a lot of prints. So we were like, oh, let's put them in here. And these frames are from Ikea. So, you know, things are coming together for sure. We love our place so much, but 
I think sometimes it does take a woman's touch to be like, okay, let's just do it. Scotty is very much like a think things through kind of thing, uh, kind of person. And I very much want to just get them done and just go and make the purchase. So that's what we have been doing and how we have been managing. But it's always good because I know that a lot of like all the decisions that we make, we make them together, which I think is important. So. Let's redo that little bathroom together. Already it has been 10 minutes, but that was my little haul. And just so you guys know too, these, I got two sets of them and they were both $29.99. So this is the current state of our bathroom. This light, we love. We got that from CB2. And then this is the mirror I was talking about from Ikea. The reason why we really like this one, and I'll try to link all these down below if you guys are interested too, is that it's got this ledge. So sometimes you can kind of prop your, honestly, all the time what I do is I prop my iPad up there when I'm washing my face and doing whatever. And then we also assembled this Good Morgan set which I will also link down below and up above the video that we did. Something that we did to make it a little bit more unique though is we added our own hardware and that is such a, an easy way to make your Ikea set look so much more expensive. Highly recommend because this unit is incredible. Down below there is so much storage going on and I actually recently did like a mini purge and organization of this, but I think what I'm going to do is another declutter of this in a future video, but overall, pretty organized. You can see I've got all my little, little organizers there. And then this is what I'm talking about with gold detailing. I got this a while ago at HomeSense, and that little letter is what Scotty wrote to me on my birthday a couple of years ago when he asked me to move in with him. So that is super adorable. Oh, and then um, down here, this little dish, I got this from Anthropology a couple of years ago and I just throw my jewelry in there. This coaster is from Indigo and then we are obsessed with the Live Clean Soap. Guys, if you haven't tried this soap before, give it a go. Not only is it so good, smelling but it also just really sticks to your hands so you can tell you you just really gotta give a good scrub it feels so good and i never feel like my hands are drying out from washing my hands a million times and last but not least we have this from bath and body works the peaceful tea tree and peppermint this is one of my favorite scents of all time it's just so relaxing so calming so behind me i have that little macrame piece and this is what i'm debating on switching out for that painting but now looking at all this i think the painting is way too big which is sad because i love it sadly it won't go anywhere else in our house but alas and then our shower area would love to redo those tiles but it's just not worth it they are totally neutral totally fine and this isn't our forever home a couple years ago i also got this hook from anthropology and i had nowhere to put it i had no idea where to put it and it has just been the most perfect little hook for towels and then i have from a local shop burlap and twine if you're anywhere near the gta area or near Hamilton, they have some really beautiful bath bombs that they make. I think what we're missing here is like some greenery. I also do, oh, perfect, yes. We do have the plastic piece. I do love this curtain. I think I just don't wanna get sick of it. So it'd be just nice to kind of switch things out for spring, summer, and then kind of switch that back in for a winter vibe next year. Just might be cool to switch it up. And that's pretty much it. I think that uh, I wanna put that shelving unit here. So that would be super cute. My dad's gonna come over. He's gonna help me do the thing. And I think that we will be getting this floor done in about a week, which will definitely change a lot. And I might include in a different vlog. Side note as well, if you're wondering what this is, this is our wash, our laundry and drying. And uh, I've tried to change this little knob before. I actually bought a different knob, but it was the wrong kind. So I definitely want to do that as well. The only thing about having your wash in a bathroom like this is everything always gets so dusty. It's so annoying. It, just because of like the lint and everything that gets into the air. So we are constantly needing to wipe this bathroom down, which is not, not a bad thing, but yeah, it can definitely just get annoying. So if you guys are buying a house and you have the option to have a separate washing room for your washing machines, definitely opt for that. 
One of the only really annoying parts about shopping at Home Sense, Winners, Marshalls is like, if you guys work here, if you know someone who works here, please, please answer this question. Why don't you put the sticker on the thing that's so easy to remove? Why? Or like the bottom. Oh, I guess you can't put it on the bottom here, but you know what I mean? They're just so annoying to remove. Oh, this one's actually going pretty good, which is not making a good face for me, but I think that some of these can just be so annoying. I was looking around for garbage and I was like, oh, I guess, I guess it can just go in here. What do you guys think? I actually really like it there. I know it's huge. I know some people are gonna hate that. I It's just on the nail that was holding this up, so I know it could come down a bit, but I think it looks really pretty. I'm into it. Let's see, maybe I'll pull the nail down and see. Okay, I'm gonna get, I think I'm gonna get my dad to help me hang this up today too, because it's just scumming up that wall. Um. What I originally had this macrame for, I hung it right here and it just covered up all of our electrical in the spare room. It's just such an easy, quick fix. And then you can easily just get to any of the switches if you need to, so. Wow, that looks great. And matching. That looks so good. Thanks. I also got this, gonna, hammer. got this hammer. I also got this to try to see if just a plain white one would look better. Guys, good news. <laughs> good news development. Scott likes the painting and I switched it to be a little lower as you saw and I actually really like it. So we're gonna take off the cardboard. This is an exciting day. I'm very, very happy. I'm just meeting up with my dad and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna show you all the stuff we're doing today, not just the bathroom, but um, Scotty and I bought this awesome studio background holder that we could put on our wall and you might have seen it a little bit if you follow me on Instagram, I will link that down below, as well as this background thing, so I'm getting so many questions and like where we get our paper backdrops, I'll put that below too. But it's got a pulley system. My dad and I set it up, and because you really want to find the stud when you set it up, because it's quite heavy, we actually have to get some pipe extenders for our paper, so I'll show you kind of how we're thinking to rejig this project. Okay, okay, I'll see you soon. I'm part of the uh, contractor and... Oh yeah. I always park at that end too. So we are back. My dad's here now. A new job. A new job. This is what we ended up getting. Two inch PVC pipe. Is that what it is? What? Is it PVC? This is ABS. ABS, okay. PVC is white, but this is a little cheaper and a little stronger. So that's just gonna fit right in perfect and tighten it up. And there Plus, was some, the black oh, yeah. goes nice. Eh? Yeah, the black goes really nice. Yeah. So we ended up getting four of these. Well, technically two and they were 12 feet across, and then because of the length of it, we cut it in two, and we have four options up there. So that may all sound very confusing, so I'll show you exactly what I mean in a little time-lapse video. Yeah. So, we have finished putting these up. It looks phenomenal, I'll show you guys. There's these pulley systems. So, each one has its own color, pulley, and we can just manually have them come down one by one, and then they're staggered so the paper will kind of flow in behind. But this is such a good solution for if you're kind of thinking of doing some backdrops, and the fact that there's four too, it's amazing. Good job, dude. <laughs> now what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna attach our paper rolls to it 
because normally they're on cardboard. So we're going to put the paper across and then use the pulley system to unravel it off of one roll onto the actual system that we kind of shimmied up here. Hello you guys. I thought I would get this done in one day. This is a two day vlog. I just hung the curtains and I'm gonna tell you why it was a massive fail. And then we'll get to the bathroom, but let's go check it out. Okay, all good, but I definitely got the wrong size. So as you can see here, they are way too long. And to be honest, it doesn't really block the light like you would want it to. I do like the idea of getting a different look of curtain, but you know what, you win some and you lose some. Thankfully, we did a lot of winning in the washroom, which was actually the main goal, but these cuties sadly will have to go back because we could hem the bottom, but it's honestly just not worth it if they're not gonna block the light, so that's okay. Quickly before I show you guys the washroom as well, this is how the rolls went up. So we have two rolls currently, the pink and the kind of off-white creamy one. Scotty and I really want to get some other colors, but the pulley system has made it so easy for us just to kind of pull down each color. And we are thrilled about that. So I think tonight we're going to look into some colors to purchase, but let's get to the actual changes in the washroom, which will be a little bit more exciting than all of this other stuff. Without further ado, let's show off the changes in the washroom. So you obviously saw that painting change. I am so happy with it. I think it looks really beautiful and it's kind of giving off a spa-like feel here in the washroom. Obviously everything is, oh, everything is still the same here on the vanity. What we did do though is we had a couple of these fake greens from Ikea, obviously because it is so dark in here, we don't have any windows, we never put any plants in here because we feel like we're just setting them up for failure. So the vanity, we basically just added that little greenery and that pop is changing so much, I feel. Here is our little shelf above the toilet and I am thrilled. We also added another piece of greenery up there and just a couple of bits and bobs. I know I will not be putting a bunch on those shelves. Though it is extremely sturdy because we did use plugs inside of the drywall, we weren't lucky enough to actually get um, some studs. It doesn't matter because it's more of just kind of a decoration piece not something that we are functionally gonna be like putting books on or anything like that. For the actual shower curtain, I am thrilled. I absolutely love the white texture and Scott does as well. We just feel as though because it is so bright white, it just kind of draws your eye up and as well it makes the bathroom look a little bit bigger. I also added this little bag from a local shop called Centro in Burlington, Ontario and put the bath bombs in there instead of the actual cardboardy looking paper bag because that bag was actually wiping against the wall and creating some problems. In terms of a small change, but a mighty one, I changed to this little knob on our little laundry doors and I think it has made such a big dis difference. That other knob was such a bane of my existence. And something I wanna point out that my dad told me about, which I was like, that is brilliant and that's just a lesson learned that you can definitely pass on. So I remember in our kitchen when I was a kid, we had those brass handles and you could always tell which one of the cupboards we were going in the most because they would kind of get like worn off. So if there's a handle that you are using all the time or an area of your house that you're using all the time, it's really smart if you can go with a glass handle because it's never gonna show wear and tear of like using that a lot or fingers or oils or anything like that kind of like ripping away the paint. So all in all, also just seeing this little cutie on there, it makes me so happy. I had a bath last night. Hi, <laughs> I had a bath last night and I lit some candles and it was just the most relaxing thing ever. So in terms of a little homeware haul and a total rejig of this washroom without doing anything huge, you can definitely change things up and make a drastic looking change which uh, without actually getting out like any power tools, which is awesome. <laughs> and again, don't mind the floor, but 
I am loving that these are matching. Actually, maybe I'll show you guys the floor and what it will look like very quickly. One sec. So the floor in the washroom will be the same as in the kitchen. This is just a half piece, but in the kitchen, you can see that it's just kind of like this nice white, off-white look. And because of the way the floor goes, we actually have a little bit of a lip down here. So it will fit right in there, which I am thrilled about. So the difference here is going to be dramatic in like the best way possible. All right, so that is it. That is all, that is the end of this little bathroom rejig. Thank you guys so much for following along. Please do let me know if you like vlogs. I'm trying to decide like, do I get back into a vlog mode on this channel or kind of just stick to the status quo? So if there was ever a time to like or comment, it is definitely right now. If you guys are new here, would love if you would stick around, subscribe, hit that bell, and hopefully I will see you back for another video, the next one coming out on Sunday. I love you guys and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.